Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and today I'm going to show you how to use the Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady app when you're on board. So you have already downloaded the app to do all of your check-in, maybe you bought some shore things, maybe you bought some sailor loot, maybe you bought a bar tab, but this is once you get on the ship, there's some tips and tricks for how to use the app. Here we go. When you open the app, it will have an overview of your day. Now, it is very helpful if you go ahead and click on the seafaring guide because this will have interesting information and kind of a summary of what to expect on your day at sea. Then, also, if you go back, you can, there's further information. So, for instance, if you're headed to port, here will be information about your port, about how to get off the ship, about the times you want to go, all of that good stuff. So, for instance, here, this is information about when we're disembarking in Miami, about our group, about what time, about what we need to know. So, you definitely want to click on all of the pictures on that initial page because that has a lot of helpful information. Now going down to the bottom, you have your home page. So that's the page we're on right now. Now you want to go to Discover. Now this is a little different than a lot of other apps. So under Lineup, you're going to find the activities for the day. Um, so for instance, if you wanted to do the self-care workshop. Now a lot of these activities recommend that you book them. So to book them, you'll just click on the activity you want to do and then you'll click book and then that will basically reserve you a spot. Now that spot doesn't last forever. You need to show up at least 15 minutes prior to the event to make sure you get your spot. But you, And then you also just want to know that some things may be sold out. If something is sold out, like you can see here, this is sold out. Well, what that means is that it has fully booked so you can apply yourself to a wait list. It also shows if it has an extra charge. Now, if some of the free activities are sold out, then you can go to that venue uh, about half an hour to 45 minutes before it starts and put your name on a virtual queue. So don't despair. If it's sold out, you can head to the venue and put your name on the list. Now, if you want to find out more about the restaurants on board, you want to click ship. And then this will take you to the eateries. Then when you click on each individual restaurant, and just know that this app is glitchy, so that's an important thing to know. You can click on the individual restaurants, and that will take you to a page about the restaurant. It will let you make reservations if reservations are available, and you can see the menu. So if you scroll all the way down, you'll be able to pull up the different menus for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In the bottom, it'll show you the different menus that are available. So wine, cocktails, brunch, dinner. Now, I found it easier to navigate the menus this way than trying to use the QR codes on the tables, but the menus might be slightly different, so it's always good to ask if the menu is the same. Now, just a reminder, you can only make one reservation per restaurant in the beginning, um, so you can only have one restaurant restaurant, but you can go and try to do standby at each of the other things. So you can also find the bars and clubs, the live venues, information about the fitness, where the hangouts are going to be. Um, just all of the all of the information about each of the different venues is available here in the ship. The one thing you will not find is the deck plan. So if you want a deck plan, be sure to head to the sailor services right upon boarding and ask them if they have a printed copy. Now under services, you'll find where to request things for your room, messenger, you can message different people. And then under me, you'll find information about your wallet, your bar tab, and your current booking. So back to the homepage, just one more note about when you look at the different activities, not all of them are going to be in this lineup. So this is not everything that is going to happen on the ship today. It's mostly just the fitness, the fitness activities, and then hold, hold, close your eyes. I'm going to scroll really fast. I don't want you to get seasick. Um, if you head down to the evening, it will have any of the evening itinerary activities that you may need to book. So there's shows in the Red Room, which is their version of the theater. There's also um, shows in the Manor, which is their version of 
a nightclub. It's actually a really cool, awesome nightclub. So, but keep in mind, there's uh, lots of other things going around the ship. They definitely want you to explore. So hope that helps. Hope you make the most of things. Just remember these final tips. So your final tips. One, be sure to book any of the activities you want once you get on board. Make those restaurant reservations. Remember that Razzle Dazzle and Wake are also open for breakfast and lunch, and you can make reservations there. Two, all of the activities are not in the app. You're going to have to go and explore, and you're going to have moments every morning where someone's talking about something that happened, and you're like, I had no idea that was going on. So explore the ship. Go to lounges. You'll find all kinds of different things happening. It is not like a traditional cruise. That's the whole point. Now, if you're interested in booking a Virgin Voyages, I would love to be your travel agent. Email Angie at tripswithangie.com. Bye.